Parkway Family Day is a, a day to celebrate this, uh, this great park and, and celebrate uh, Parkway soccer, but also to celebrate the heroes among us. You know, when we talk about heroes, uh, sometimes it gets a little bit misguided. Uh, we're all big fans of the Boston Celtics, right? Go Celtics tomorrow night, right? And I think Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen and the rest of the Celtics would tell you sometimes they get idolized as heroes, and I think they'd be the first ones to tell you they're not heroes, they're basketball players. And we're here to celebrate the real heroes among us who walk among us and live among us and have given their service to our country. A big round of applause, uh, first of all, uh, for the heroes who work every day to protect us, our Boston firefighters and our Boston police department. And we have a, another, uh, we're going to honor Richie Gormley a little bit later on, a true hero uh, to us in, in our community and to the city of Boston. But I want to acknowledge a very special person who's come to join us today. He's a former, he's a recipient of the Thomas Matarazzo Award a couple of years ago, and he is a true hero. He's a survivor of the USS Indianapolis, a true hero, lives on Washington Street with his beautiful wife, Layla. A big round of applause for Mr. Bob Bonnet. Ninety-five years young, last December. We come out to celebrate this jewel of a park at Millennium, uh, uh, Millennium Park, a former dump, a former landfill that's 98 acres of beautiful, as you can see, pack, passive and active recreation space. Uh, this day would not be possible without the hard work of the Parkway Family Day Task Force, and I want to give all the volunteers today a big round of applause for all their efforts and the folks at Parkway Soccer. This day keeps on getting bigger and better every single year. Uh, Parkway Youth Soccer, as we all know, is a neighborhood institution that has been going strong for 28 years. Uh, it's been great working together to plan a, a great day to celebrate uh, fun, fitness, and family, uh, and to celebrate our veterans. And I think it's fair to say that this has become a key date in the Parkway's community calendar, and it follows uh, uh, what the Corps of Road Race has done. A uh, big round of applause for Marty Belay and all the team of the Corps of Road Race. 15 years, had a tremendous turnout. They've benefited so many charities in our area. And this will be a tradition that carries on for years to come. It's our sixth year. It's a day to celebrate what we love about our neighborhoods, uh, our city, and our country. And it's important for Parkway residents to celebrate their community and their civic pride right in their own backyard. And also to celebrate it uh, amongst uh, family and friends and also our fine elected officials uh, here uh, in our district. I want to uh, acknowledge our state senator, Marion Walsh, is here and kind enough to join us. Thank you, Senator. Our state representative, Michael Rush, is here. Thank you, Michael. And there are another commitment, right? Robbie Gonzalo, my good friend and Catholic Memorial classmate, was here earlier, and he had to go to another event in Mattapan. A big round of applause for Robbie. And a few of my colleagues are on their way back from a hero dedication uh, in Dorchester, and they'll be here shortly. Uh, City Council's Michael Flaherty, uh, our, dis our, our last council from West Stroxbury, John Conley, and also uh, Council Sam Yoon. Big round of applause for those gentlemen as well. It's uh, very fitting that we hold today's celebration on Flag Day, and today we commemorate the adoption of our flag design by the Continental Congress in, in uh, 1777. In 1916, President Woodrow Wilson established Flag Day by issuing a presidential proclamation, although some Americans have been observing the June 14th holiday for many years. And the holiday was officially designated in 1949 when President Harry Truman signed legislation naming June 14th as our National Flag Day. It's also fitting that we're here to honor those who have served our nation in the United States military. And that's why we created this Salute to America. And today, we want to acknowledge local veterans for their bravery and sacrifice, especially those who are serving in, Ar in Iraq, Afghanistan, and other points around the world. They are always in our thoughts and in our prayers. Their commitments to this country made it possible for us to enjoy so many freedoms today. They inspire all of us to be better citizens. And on behalf of everyone here today, I want to thank them for the service. A big round of applause for all of our veterans. We are also here to honor a very special Parkway resident for his commitment to our community and our country with the annual Thomas B. Matarazzo Award. This year's recipient is Richard Gormley.
Richie is very, very well known, but uh, a few things maybe you didn't know about him. Uh, he served in the U.S. Marine Corps for six years. Uh, Richie was just honored in a very touching and moving ceremony that was conducted by Senator Walsh at Gethsemane Cemetery on Memorial Day. It was the biggest crowd I've ever seen there, and I think people were there to acknowledge the day, but also acknowledge uh, Richie's service to our community and to our country. Uh, he's a veteran of the Vietnam War. He received the Marines Cross for gallantry. He's currently the commander for the West Roxbury BFW Post 2902, and he's been a long time an active supporter in so many charities uh, and so many causes. Many of them you never read about and never hear about it. He does it in his own quiet way, uh, but he's been out there and supporting Parkway Youth Soccer and Parkway Baseball. And, uh, Richie also serves as the uh, president of Boston's Ross Common Association. He has a big benefit every year at the Elks uh, Hall. Uh, and today, it is my honor, it is our honor to present the 2008 Thomas B. Madrazo Award to our friend, to our neighbor, Richard Gormley. Thank you very much, John. And thank you. Uh, this is a great honor. I'm humble. And it's a great day to uh, uh, receive this on Flag Day. Thank you. Thank you, Richie. Richie should run for office. He's very brief. He's winning a landslide. I'm afraid of that. Parkway Family Day also gives us an opportunity to celebrate the arts, and children have been putting their talents to work at the crafts table all morning. Uh, later on, we'll see some of the best the community has to offer at the Parkway Idol Contest. We have uh, 13 contestants. That's always a wonderful part of our day. Uh, I also want to acknowledge some very special people for their hard work, and without them, none of this would be possible. I want, as I said, recognize the members of the Parkway Family Day Task Force for their month of hard work and preparation. Uh, uh, Sue Cotter, Kathy Colby, Matt Benedetti, Joe Conran, Nancy Doherty, Joanne Maloof, uh, Diana and Dennis Orthman, Mary Beth Papalinas, Kelly Tynan, a big round of applause for them, and also for Cliff McLean, Dave Isberg from my office, and the great people at Parkway Soccer, Kenny Martin, Bob Walla, Joy Spirit, big round of applause for them, Tony Sarafunk, we'll get here from in a second. And also for our many, many sponsors of both Family Day and Soccer Day, the longtime sponsors, the new ones, the things, the people that keep this uh, community going, keep this league going, and this day going. I uh, also want to acknowledge uh, this day would not be possible, and he was here earlier today, and I forgot to acknowledge him, and I hope he doesn't find out, but Mayor Tom Menino, a big round of applause for Mayor Menino. He was here earlier, and he has a packed schedule today, but he's kind enough to be here, and also the fine people of parks and uh, in licensing for, uh, you know, for allowing us to hold this great day. Uh, we're going to have a, a, a Parkway Idol contest, as I said later. Our family day uh, is a wonderful day and a wonderful tribute uh, to our veterans, to the arts, and to this great park. Uh, I'm now going to turn it over to, turn it over to Tony Sarah from the longtime president of Parkway Soccer, uh, who is going to say a few words and present the Bruce Romano Award. Tony?